Welcome back to what's new. It's only October, but a lot of folks are ready to say goodbye to 2020. You can count them among me among them. Among, uh, among them also is a local photographer. He had an interesting idea. His project here is to bring in a new year. Her subjects, a group of men armed with a sense of humor, of course, and a mission. It's all to aid a good cause and to bring Midwest sexy back. Will Uick reports. The idea, like most great ones, came by accident. Photographer Kelly Schimmelfenning was on a Zoom call with girlfriends. We started discussing how there was such a proliferation of horrible uh, selfie photos on dating websites. The worst offenders, men. They just had no idea how to take a decent photo of themselves. So Kelly hatched a plan offering proper headshots to a group of guys that also allowed them to show off their fun personalities. Theater friend Luke Scattergood was among the first to respond. I uh, messaged Kelly right away and said, oh, sign me up, whatever it is. The group hit Maria's Field of Hope in Avon, where Kelly, owner of Shiny Penny Studios, snapped away. Profile pics first, then she encouraged the men to strike a pose. One of the guys like popped behind a couple of sunflowers. Another man was like perched up on the ladder like he was at the bow of a ship. And it was the most crazy, goofy, amazing stuff. After looking at the photos of these men in all shapes and sizes celebrating their bodies, Kelly had another idea, a calendar of dad bots. I talked to some of my friends and I was like, I'm thinking about doing a calendar. Is that like old fashioned and you know kind of insane? And they're like, no, because people are so looking forward to 2021. More shoots followed in the spirit of what she calls doudoir photography. There may be a hint of goofiness, but then there's a whole section of photos that really represent that man. Maybe that's probably why those wives and girlfriends were sending their significant others and saying, sure, go run around a sunflower field and be crazy. At the heart of the project is also a desire to help with proceeds from calendar sales going to Meals on Wheels of Northeast Ohio. I knew I wanted to do something involving hunger because that's such a critical need right now. Also in need, something to lift spirits or bring a laugh during a year that has been less than kind. And the responses I got from people just saying like, oh my gosh, you have no idea how you know much that brightened my day to see that or it's just put a smile on somebody's face, celebrate people no matter what their shape or size or skin color is. Um, because it's important. It's important to be inclusive and to just spread a little smile. Presale orders are being taken now for Dad Bods of Cleveland 2021, a year of Midwest sexy, a calendar unlike any other. I'm buying some to give out as gifts. Will Ewick. If you're on my Christmas list, watch, because you might get one. Three news. Uh, that is absolutely outstanding. I love, too, that Meals on Wheels benefits from this. Dad Bods of Cleveland 2021, a year of Midwest sexy, isn't quite finished. And, guys, this is where you could become one of the stars. There is one more open call for models. It's going to happen on October 24th. So if you rock the Dad Bod and you want to be included in this awesome project, then why wouldn't you? All of the info is on WKYC.com. Betsy, I think it's great. I think this is just a perfect showcase of Cleveland having a sense of humor. Right. We get it. We're having fun. We're making money for a really great cause. You remember Beefcakes on the Lake? Oh, of course. I mean, come on. Yeah. It's, this is it's just basically a, that all over again. Much, much different spin. Yeah. Now, I think, and of course, you didn't see this coming, but it would have been better, I think, if you could have had that calendar out for 2020. Like yeah. I said, who would have known? Because you couldn't wait to turn through the months. <laughs> because I imagine looking at those pictures for 30 days, yeah. that might get a little <laughs> troubled, a right. little troublesome for some. For some people, certainly, yes. The doudoir <laughs> I is love the, it. the new term. I think that's pretty cool, definitely.